today, grade 11. Welcome to week 11 in mathematics. We're going to carry on with analytical geometry. What we're going to be doing now is applying what we've learned about finding the equation of a line. And this time we're going to be looking at finding the equation of a line with one point, and this line is parallel to another. So what is special about that? What is special is that what do we know about parallel lines? We know that their gradients are the same. So if we've got this point, 3 minus 2, and we know that it's going through a line that is parallel to this line, then this point, has the, the line that this point is on, has to have the same gradient as that, right? So that's all we need to do. We need to find the gradient of this line. We're going to find M, and then we've got a point, and then it makes life very easy. So let's have a look at this. It says find the equation of line parallel to 2y plus 3x equals 3 and passing through the point 3 minus 2. So this is the parallel line, the line that's going to be parallel to. So what do we need to do? The first thing we need to do is get this in standard form. So they give us that 2y plus 3x equals 2. So therefore we know that 2y is equal to minus 3x plus 2. Remember that the standard form of the straight line graph, which you guys should be able to say in your sleep right now, is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is your gradient and c is your y cut or y intercept. And that's what we need to get this into in order to find out what the gradient is, and that's what I'm busy doing over here. So now we've got 2y is equal to minus 3x plus 2, but the standard form has a coefficient of 1 for y. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. So therefore, I'm going to go y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 2 divided by 2, which becomes minus 3 over 2x plus 1. So if we had to just draw this line, just to give you an idea, okay, this is x and this is y. It is going through plus 1, plus 1. And if you want to find out where it goes through the y-axis, we can say if we find it y equal naught, so we're going to get let y equal naught. So then we've got 0 is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 1. So you've got minus 1 is equal to minus 3 over 2x. Therefore, you're going to times both of these sides by minus 2 over 3 to get rid of that fraction over there. So we have x is equal to minus 1 minus a plus, so it becomes 2 over 3. So therefore, it's going to a point right over here. And that there, oh, the line. that there is my line. y is equal to minus 3 over 2x plus 1. Okay, so that is that line. Now they say we've got another point. Let me just change color so you can see what I'm doing now. We've got another point, which is 3 at 3 minus 2. So x is 3, so we've got 1, 2, okay, that's 1, 2, 3. y is minus 2. So we've got this point here, which is at 3 minus 2. And they tell us that it's going through a line that's parallel with the blue line. It's parallel. And again, I apologize for my really bad drawing of straight lines. So because these two lines are parallel, what do we know? The gradients are equal. The gradients are equal. Therefore, the gradient of this green line is going to be, what is it? Minus 3 over 2. It's going to be minus 3 over 2. Minus 3 over 2. Therefore, we've got y is equal to mx plus c. So to get the standard form of this equation, we just need the y cut. But we happen to have a point, which is 3 minus 2, and we happen to have a gradient, which is minus 3 over 2. So I can go y is equal to minus 3 over 2, x plus c. But I happen to have an x and a y. There's my x, and there's my y. So I can substitute that in. So I can say, okay, fine, y is minus 2 is equal to minus 3 over 2 times my x, which is 3 plus c. So then if I multiply this out, I get minus 2 is minus 3 times 3 is minus 9 over 2 plus C. So therefore C is going to be minus 2 
plus 9 divided by 2 is 4 and a half. Therefore, do you agree my C is going to be 2 and a half? And I'm just going to write it up here because I've run out of space. So therefore, the equation of this green line is going to be y is equal to the gradient. And the gradient is minus 3 over 2x plus the y cut, which we worked out to be 2 and a half. And that grade 11 is how you do that. Let's do another example just to make sure you guys have got to grips with it. So this time, exactly the same thing. It says determine the equation of a line that passes through the point 4 minus 2 and it's parallel to the line y is equal to minus 2x plus 1. So the first thing that we're going to do again is we're going to get this in the standard form. So remember the standard form is y is equal to mx plus c. So what do we want to do? We want to make y is the subject of the formula. So let's do it. So we've got y minus 2x plus 1 equals 0, right? So make y the subject of the formula. I'm going to leave y on this side and take everything onto the other side. So that becomes 2x minus 1. So there we've got the gradient. That there is the gradient of this line. And again, I'm just going to quickly draw this so that you can see what we're doing. We've got this goes through minus 1, minus 1, and the gradient is going to be 2, which means it goes up to 1, 2, and across 1. So therefore, we're just going to draw this like this. There you go. And that there is my equation of y is equal to 2x minus 1. And now, again, I'm going to change my color. And they've given us the point 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2. So, 4 minus 2 is going to be about over here and about over there. So, this point is 4 more or less. 4 minus 2. And they're telling us that there is a line for the back. Let us just erase that line. And let's do it again. Okay. There is a line that's going parallel, much better, parallel to the green line, but going through the point 4 minus 2. So therefore, we know that the gradient of this purple line, because these lines are parallel, is going to be 2, right? So therefore, we've got y is equal to mx plus c. Our gradient we've been given is 2. So we've got y is equal to 2x plus c, and we've got the point. It is 4 minus 2, where this would be x, and this would be y. So we've got minus 2 is equal to 2 times 4 plus c. So we've got minus 2 is equal to 2 times 4 is 8 plus c. So our c is going to be minus 2 minus 8. So c is going to be minus 10. Therefore, our equation is going to be y, y is equal to 2x minus 10, 2x minus 10. So if I carried this down, and I carried this down further, that point there would be minus 10. Right, grade 11, so that's actually really easy. So now you know how to find an equation when you have a point and you know that that line is parallel to another line. Please practice, make sure you can do this, and do the assessment at the end of the session. Have a great day.